should be good. What's up guys? We're back in the trailer again today. Uh, as you can see, I got the floors in yesterday. You can see I started working on the walls um, last night. It was a little dark and, and uh, too cold to film. So I didn't film any of that, but I'm going to work on uh, this other side today and I'll fil film some of that, film um, how I'm cutting these panels down. They're actually super easy to cut. These are sign, sign panels that I use in my sign company. Um, and you can cut them with a razor blade. Uh, I used a multi-tool to cut out the outlet um, with it. It drills real easy. The, it's, it's just a great material and it's not too expensive either, especially if you can get it um, at wholesale prices like I do. So uh, I've got these three panels laid up um, in here with my wires pulled out. I did a little um, sample here to make sure my plan with my outlets was gonna work um, and we're good there. So. Once I get all the walls up, um, I'll do another video coming back in and uh, doing the finishing on the electrical, putting my um, box up and then putting all my outlets and switches in. So that's what we're working on. Um, I'm gonna get to cutting uh, this other side of the wall panels. I don't have these completely fastened in yet. I just have the middle screws uh, in there for now. And this is just a protective coating over the white paint. So um, once I'm done, I'll peel that off and, and it should look really sharp in here. Up top, I'm gonna run um, just a half inch by half inch uh, aluminum angle for the trim all the way up top. I think it uh, looks pretty nice. I've seen it done um, in some other trailers. So that's what I'm going with there. Um, yeah. So I'm laying my ACM sheet out here and then I'm going to measure uh, the height of the wall and mark that. And then I just use a straight edge and a razor blade to score the top of the panel. Then I'll move it over to the edge of my sheets here and uh, just simply snap it down. So I've just been taking a scrap piece of this metal and it's actually uh, got the protective coating and I've just got a wax pencil and for each panel that I'm cutting I'm marking uh, where I have my holes uh, for my outlets and switches and then for this panel I'm actually gonna um, score the back and we're gonna bend it into the front V um, of the trailer so then that V will actually be one solid uh, piece of aluminum so this stuff is three millimeter thick it doesn't quite uh, bend like 040 uh, aluminum or the thinner gauge aluminum. It's pretty rigid. So um, what I do is just score the back metal uh, down almost to the front using a router and then allows me um, to bend it into place. So uh, we do that to build cabinets for signs and other stuff as well. So, so to score the back side of this, I've actually got uh, my router here and I've got a uh, I think this is a 45 degree uh, angle bit and then it's just going to take a notch out of the back of this panel. Uh, I've got it dialed down to where it's just cutting through the top layer of aluminum and then the poly core but not touching uh, obviously the front layer of aluminum. So, Okay so uh, what I did here is put a panel on top of my panel and I'm just going to use the edge as a guide to run my router down so makes it uh, really easy to stay in line um, and that way I don't screw this up. Since it's so cold out, I'm actually gonna use a little heat to heat up this aluminum, uh, make it flex easier without cracking and breaking. There we go. It's set in there. Now I'll take some uh, fasteners, just fasten it in and be good to go. Oh. 
So I had an outlet marked here for, this is gonna be for my water pump. It's gonna go behind my sinks um, and next to my fresh water tank right here. Uh, I don't like how it landed right on this seam. So the good thing about using this, uh, the plywood base and not cutting out uh, my outlets yet is I could just, I'm just gonna drill um, a hole next to this and just move my wire over there. And it's not gonna be a big deal uh, having this hole back here. I've got insulation and then this covering it. So um, kind of makes it another reason why it makes it nice uh, working with this material, I can mark out. Sweet, down to the last panel here. And then I just have one small strip above the door and the interior is uh, all covered in aluminum. Last panel, dome light, and all the panels are up. Now it's time to finish up the electrical. All right, that's a wrap on the interior walls. Sorry I didn't get a good recap video here, so I just have this image. But all in all, uh, I spent about $450 on nine of these ACM panels, and it took me about four hours of my time to install. You'll notice I didn't do the doors because I actually plan on coming back later and installing aluminum uh, diamond plate or uh, tread plate as they call it sometimes. I think it'll look really nice in here. So for now, I'm leaving them off and moving on to the electrical. So stay tuned for that. Should be good.